Morning guys, I just got back from a really good workout. Alex and I got up early this morning and smashed it out, went to the 6 a.m. class, so I'm feeling good. Been kind of struggling getting up early actually. I'm not too sure why, I've just been feeling super tired in the mornings, but yesterday I bought some magnesium tablets and I had some before bed last night. And I'm not even kidding, I woke up feeling so refreshed and not tired at all. <laughs> so I'm putting it down to the magnesium tablets for feeling really good today. I have Ken's coming at 10 o'clock um, to work with me today, so it's going to be a busy day. I'm going to try and film some of the stuff we get up to in the office because I've had a few messages about it and I love the fact that you guys are interested in it. So I'll show you what we're working on today. We're currently working on the newsletter. Ken's has been doing that for me each week. So if you guys are subscribed to the Lolita mailing list, you would be receiving it. I'm also coming up with some designs. I'm using my little drawing pad for some products that we're releasing in summer, which is very exciting. I'm about to also come up with some drawings for the newsletter as well. This plant is so annoying. It always hits me in the head. I need to move it but we don't have any other hooks in the roof, so I'll have to put one in. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. It probably doesn't look like I've moved because I literally haven't, apart from having lunch for about half an hour. Ken's has just left and I'm almost finished for the day on my computer. I'm actually just finalizing some Instagram stories for tomorrow. I just made this little GIF. Um, that says styled by you and then this is my favorite one. I've just compiled a few of your photos kind of just to remote signing up to our newsletter because like I said we're sending out weekly newsletters now. If you guys have been around for a while you definitely would have seen me talk about the company No Issue before. I've been using them for almost a year now and I genuinely love their products. That's where I get 90% of my packaging from because it is all sustainable, compostable, eco-friendly and they're super transparent about how all of their products are made on their website. I recently got some new packaging in the mail from them that I wanted to show you guys. I've been running a little low on my tissues, so I ordered some more and I'm really proud of this design because I actually drew it myself on my little Wacom drawing pad. Before I show you guys the tissues, I also ordered some stickers. I just got a top up on my Circle Lolita stickers. They're a thinner sticker that I find perfect for packaging. I just like wrap the tissue and then place one on top. You definitely would have seen me do that multiple times, but these are acid free and printed with their soy based inks. So definitely better for the environment. And this time I got them printed on sheets because I just thought that would be a lot easier. And then we can open the tissue paper up together. I definitely didn't do that the most graceful way. Um, but let me show you guys. <gasps> looks so good. It's honestly crazy how much detail they're able to pick up um, with their printing. You can literally put anything you like on your custom tissues. And I think it's just such a nice detail to your product. Um, I know as a consumer, I always notice packaging. Anyway, if you guys wanted to check out No Issue for yourself, I'll have them linked down below. They offer a range of different products from mailers to stickers to stamps to tote bags. They literally have everything. They even do tape. I have so many of their products and that is why my packaging is so cute. Once again, thank you so much to No Issue for sponsoring this video. I genuinely do love working with you guys. Let's get back into the vlog. Good morning guys, from me and my bed head. Ah, way too soon. I 
finally found some cute active wear that not everybody's wearing. More so just bike pants because that's what I was looking for coming into summer. Um, but these are from the upside. They have like this panel detailing on the side and are a super thick like knit material. I just think they're so flattering. I thought they would look really cute just with like baby tees. Kind of like this. Super comfy and practical for this warmer weather. But I also wanted to show you because I really love these ones. I got these chocolate brown seamless ones from Lorna Jane. Mads actually works at Lorna Jane, so she hooked me up with her discount. Um, I wore those, I've worn these to gym a few times and I'm a big fan. And then I just got the matching singlet top, which is a really cute set. And then also from the upside, which is where the bike shorts that I'm wearing now are from, I got this purple pair, which I love. These are a little thicker and also a little shorter. I, at some stage today, definitely need to wash my hair. It's way past the point, um, but it's one of those things that I've just been procrastinating because I've been going to the beach a lot. Before I start my day today, I am seeing a friend for coffee. I'm going to go to gym this morning because I'm really sore and I haven't had a rest day this week just yet. So my friends and I have been trialing the new Fit Stop in town. There's like a free week trial. I don't think I'll end up signing up, but it's just been a fun change. But my God, I am so <laughs> sore. I might go for a walk a little later on, but I just have a lot of things to do today with Lolita by Lolita. Shoes are on. And this is my little coffee outfit. I think it's cute. <laughs> super cute um i've like been unintentionally having coffee out like pretty much on most mornings which probably isn't the greatest but it's just a social nice thing you know i'm in the car now because i'm gonna quickly drive over to my kiln to pick up final load of baby blue gingham trinket dishes for my launch I haven't taken you to the kiln in a while and i'm literally going all the time but i feel like it just gets a little boring I've just been posting a few things on my story for the trinket launch um, but it is lunchtime and I think I'm gonna make myself a poke bowl for lunch Alex and I have been talking about it for days now and I'm really craving it so I'm gonna show you guys how I make it it's super easy I think I'm just gonna use what we have in the fridge I just spilled these fried onions everywhere but these are the ingredients we're working with not much honestly but should be good the star of the show is going to be this Japanese um, like teriyaki tofu and then I'm going to cook the mushrooms in this. is where it's at. Best. Now I'm just in Maddie's room actually because during the day her room has the best natural light. So I use just her bed sheets. She has like a really nice pale pink linen bottom sheet that I use for my product shots. So I'm gonna super quickly do that. I'm back up in my office now and I've just edited those photos that I took downstairs earlier and I've uploaded them to Canva because that is the program that I use to make my annotated drawings if I'm not actually hand drawing them myself. 
So you'll see I've kind of just labeled the features of the products. I find these useful to put on the actual product listings and I'll probably upload them as stories as well. Once I finish doing this, I will finish uploading the products and just schedule it to go live at 7 p.m. tonight. And then I think I'm just gonna have a chill afternoon. I might play around with designing some stickers um, because I wanna make some new stickers to send out with products for free. And I might go to the shops with mom. I'm not too sure just yet, but I wanna get myself some new runners, which is kind of random, but I'm in need. I'm headed for a walk this morning. This is the fit. Also, my skin down here isn't having the best time. Hot hair. Yeah, that white smell Where I'm not I just have a strapless top on a little update though I have since had a shower blow dried my hair it was so dirty and just so overdue for me to clean it um and it's a Friday so I usually wash it on a Friday but I have Ken's on her way actually she is coming in for a few hours to just help me finish packing all of these orders it's so much easier with two people I want to get some content for reels I don't like to schedule too much on a Friday afternoon. I might quickly show you guys my outfit because I feel like it's pretty cute. This knitted bandeau is from Dish. I am wearing it right now just with some knitted brown pants from Glassons. And I kind of like the all beige tonal look. We're headed out and surprise surprise i've changed again i ended up just putting on these black jeans because the tan pants i love but they're a little long <laughs> hi <laughs> they're a little too long for me um and i don't feel like wearing heels so yeah i just put on these black jeans and then i'm just wearing like this billabong like throw over jacket it's actually alex's if you couldn't tell it's massive but i kind of vibe it so yeah this is it really cute Shit, they have a f off use. Like it's huge. Not on the truck. Oh yeah, you're, you're gonna get sprinkled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We'd love to see ya. Well, you said not on. My hair is absolutely crazy, like always, but I've just gotten ready for breakfast. Thought I would quickly show you guys my outfit. It's really nothing special, but I'm kind of vibing it. And then I'm just wearing it with my brown Aloha sandals, which are pretty new. Um, I'm a big fan. I've been wearing them a lot. I'm very excited to go and get crepes. 